Okay, so the Microsoft press conference was earlier today for E3 2012 and I'm going to do something I don't normally do which is to do a recap on the announcements and highlights of the show um, even though my channel is called Xbox 360 Vault I'm in no way affiliated with Microsoft or Xbox I just so happen to make videos uh, gaming related videos on that particular console uh, so I'm going to show you some highlights from the show and enjoy alrighty so uh, Microsoft kicked off the press conference with some trailerings of the new Halo, Halo 4 uh, it started off as a live action trailer which then started to go into some more like animation and as you'll see here um, you'll see Master Chief in, in a kind of like 3D animated form uh, which then went into gameplay which looked freaking awesome um, what the hell else can I say about it just enjoy the the little bits of trailerings here There never has been a better time to own an Xbox. All right. Enjoy the show. And then when that was finished, um, some guy came on and he was like, "Hey, look at this!" And then what looked to be like a new Call of Duty game or something, what I thought turned out to be nothing of the sort. And uh, was it the announcement for a new Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell uh, Blacklist, which? Uh, gameplay was shown right after it, and it, it looks a, like a lot of fun. It looks like a mix between like Uncharted and Assassin's Creed and I don't know something else. Call of Duty maybe I don't know, but people will give out to me for mentioning Call of Duty. Anyway, watch the fuck a video. Alex is now going to use a classic Splinter Cell move, enhanced by Kinect voice recognition. Hey, you! Proud to announce that Connect was coming to EA Sports. This year, two of the biggest sports video games. All right. So after that awesomeness, uh, some EA guy came on uh, to talk about the uh, Connect integration in Madden 13 and FIFA 13, uh, which is only voice recognition, as far as I know, uh, which isn't so great. I wanted to kick around and, and be crazy in FIFA with the Connect, but I can't do that apparently. But uh, voice recognition is better than nothing, I suppose. Made clear command in attack and on defense. Through to me. And finally, our referee feedback. And for the Madden part of the uh, talk, uh, they got a NFL Hall of Famer to come on, which whose whose name escapes me. But anyway, the uh, Connect uh, voice recognition looks very handy for this game. Looking across the middle. And then Microsoft decided to just throw in some Fable the Journey trailer and not even talk about it. Like, like what's up with that? And the afterword was, as you can see, an announcement for the new Gears of War game with some a perfect circle in the background. 
which was so awesome and gave me a nice boner. And then we got to see some some racing stuff uh, for what what looks to be like the new Forza, I think it was called Forza Horizon. Uh, and it looks more like a rally game than anything else. Or like a drifting game. I don't know much about like car racing or and that stuff, but I like Forza Motorsport 3 and I have yet to get number 4 and there was some cool dubstep in the trailer. If anyone finds the name of that song, just send it in the comments. Better. Fuck you. And uh, after that, some guy just talked about some new apps, of course, like Nickelodeon and Paramount Pictures and Machinima that uh, have been added to Kinect. Uh, and then they talked about uh, integration with sport and how you can do stuff with your phone if you have a smartphone, and that'll affect the sports apps on your on your Kinect. And then there was Kinect training with uh, Nike which I d don't know much about either uh, it's a fitness game I suppose if I ever want to get into fitness uh, like all the other 10 billion fitness games on the Kinect but uh, I suppose it's pretty cool uh, you can use it with your smartphone or whatever and it tells you when to stop being fat and lazy and stop eating and stuff and tells you I, I, actually that's pretty scary if I'm honest but uh, oh I'm getting ahead of myself um, Here's Xbox Smart Glass, uh, which is actually really cool. It, they pretty much just stole the Wii U's idea, <laughs> um, which was, but it's actually really cool. Uh, it's if you have a smartphone or a, a tablet, um, like I don't know if you can use that on any. Maybe it's a gimmick, and you have to use the Windows ones. But like you can use them to watch to go with the Xbox or whatever. It like links up with the Xbox, and you can. Do it with games as well. After that was uh, some Internet Explorer was added to Xbox, which is pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so uh, following that was some gameplay on the new Tomb Raider, which looks great. I've been excited about this one for a while, and um, pretty much the uh, they're trying to like make it uncharted out of the Xbox. I think it's on the PS2. I'm not sure if it's an exclusive. Maybe it is. But uh, but it looks great. It looks like a lot of fun. And uh, I'm a fan of the old PS1 Tomb Raiders. Uh, I know this is going to be nothing like them. But uh, I'll give it a go. Truly unique and unforgettable. We're also thrilled to announce that the first... Yeah, here we have some like random tra like teaser trailers for uh, for previews of new games. One was called Ascend New Gods, but the guys who made Toy Soldiers. It looked like some crazy monster game. And then there was this a really weird teaser that didn't show anything. It was a Loco Cycle. Uh, that didn't it didn't really make any sense. And then there was a kind of like po portal looking thing for connect called matter and um, don't know what to say about them I don't know what anyone says about them they didn't really show anything but uh sure why not anyway so after that was what I was really excited for some Resident Evil 6 I didn't know they'd be at the press conference but we got to see some gameplay which is exciting and it really doesn't look like the other Resident Evils even like the shooting style and stuff doesn't look like Resident Evil 4 or 5 it's really odd like it's way more shooterish and I know a lot of people will be unhappy with that like I did really enjoy 4 and 5 not to say that I don't enjoy the older style Resident Evils a lot of people give out about how 4 and 5 made it more like a shooter but 
but this one's really like a shooter. It's weird. And there's a lot of quick time events which I don't mind and stuff. But I'll, I'll be getting it probably day one and giving it a go, probably making some channel videos. Holy lord. And then there was uh, uh, some gameplay footage of a Kinect game for kids. I mean, it was like, looks like it was kid directed. Um, called. I can't remember what it's called. Racketeer. And then came a, uh, a new South Park game. I think it's a sequel to that South Park game, arcade game that did really well. Um, <laughs> it looked nuts, but. Uh, I got pretty excited about it, I don't know. I do like South Park, but I never bought the first one. And then freaking Trey Parker and Matt Stone came on stage, and they were hilarious. How many times have you been watching an episode of South Park and thought, I'd like to be able to watch this on my television while hooked into my mobile device, which is being controlled by my tablet device, which is hooked into my oven, all while sitting in the refrigerator. <laughs> Well, we're not doing that, we're just doing this game. <laughs> this, uh, it's an RPG. Can't do that with our game, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And the last thing on the show was, of course, Black Ops 2. Which looked okay, which, yeah, it looked okay, like... I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3, but I really enjoyed uh, Black Ops, the first one. And I'm not mad about this being set in the future and shit like that, but I do love the zombies and multiplayer is always solid and the single player is alright, so like it's worth the 50 euro I pay or whatever. So I think I'm going to pick this one up and give it a go, but uh, the gameplay really didn't uh, do anything for me here. I don't know, like a lot of people, there's haters and lovers of Call of Duty, you can have your own uh, opinion on it. But uh, they finished up with with that trailer. Samuels, have secured an FA-38 to provide air support. We're tracking your location now. Just Okay, and that was E3 2012 at the Microsoft um, media briefing or press conference or keynote or whatever else you want to call it. Um, so, like, it was pretty good. They showed a lot of stuff. People, I think people haven't been having mixed views on the press conference, but what the fuck do you expect? Like, um, there's some good announcements. Some of the games looked really good. Um, I'm excited for Resident Evil 6 and Tomb Raider and I suppose Call of Duty and Halo 4 and um, if I had a, maybe a tablet or something I'd be more excited for for the whole um, what the what was it called uh, clear glass no I can't remember glass something uh, had the whole integration with tablet and smartphones and your Xbox and that um, but anyway, I'm bl blabbering on. Uh, if you want to check out my channel, I do some Let's Plays and some achievement videos and stuff like that. In fact, this video is nothing like my channel. So if you like this, you're probably going to hate my videos. Uh, but please check them out and subscribe if you like. I'm a loser. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs>